The Olympic Games have been creating history in the sporting world for ages. With athletes from all over the world competing for titles, the Games have definitely set up benchmarks for sports people globally. While every Olympic game is great to watch, there are only a few moments that have made history. Today, we're about to list down 10 such Olympic moments that were simply marvelous to watch. Starting with Abi Bikula's Barefoot Marathon. In the 1960s, this Ethiopian runner made history by running a marathon barefoot in the Roman Olympics. It all started with his last-minute selection. Before that, he was working as a bodyguard for the Ethiopian royal family. But his talent made him stand out, taking him to Rome to represent his country. Upon reaching there, though, he realized none of the shoes actually fit him. So instead of relying on them, Bikula chose to run barefoot in the marathon, as he usually used to do during training. And what do you know? The guy won! He'd even been warned to look out for Morocco's Radi Ben Abdeslam, who'd be wearing number 26. Instead, Radi sported the the number 185 bib, which confused Bikula, who kept looking for 26. But all was well in the end when he sprinted so hard in the last leg of the game that he ended up winning by 25 seconds. Then we have Nadia Comaneci's debut performance. It was 14-year-old Nadia's very first performance in the Montreal Games in 1976 when she floored the world and her routine and became the first Olympic gymnast to get a perfect 10. Her routine on the uneven bars was so impeccable that she not only won the high highest score any other gymnast had at the time, but also got awarded the nickname of Goddess from Montreal. Nadia was also ranked as BBC's Overseas Sports Personality of the Year, with her photo featuring on the cover of Time magazine. Back home in Romania, she was given the title Hero of the Socialist Labor, and they even organized a tour for her in the US. And Nadia's win streak didn't stop there, because in the course of her career, she went on to earn six more full tens. She even went on to win nine Olympic medals and four more World Artistic Gymnastics Championship once. As of now, she's a retired gymnast with a crazy record of 24 medals from the Olympic Games, European Championships, and World Championships. Of these, 16 are gold. Next, we have Michael Johnson's double gold win. American sprinter Michael Johnson was a clear favorite in the 1996 Atlanta Games after a botched Barcelona Games in 1992 due to food poisoning. The guy became the first male athlete to win both 400-meter and 200 meter events. In the first one, he set a new Olympic record of 43.49 seconds and won gold. Surprisingly enough, he did even better in the 200 meter event where he broke his own world record by more than three tenths of a second. If that isn't miraculous, we don't know what is. Johnson held this record for a very long time until Usain Bolt made a whole new one in 2008. Speaking of which, now let's talk about Usain Bolt himself. You've all seen the memes. Now let's hear the story. The Jamaican record record holder Bolt shot to worldwide fame after the Beijing Games when he literally stole the show with his performance on the track. He ran the 100-meter and 200-meter races and went on to become a gold medalist in both. What was his record? 9.58 and 19.19, respectively. Impressive, right? We're pretty sure this moment's going to be long talked about in the history of the Olympics, especially considering how the guy literally jogged to the end of the line after acing the field in the beginning. An iconic man through and through. There's also the fact that he's probably one of the only athletes who finished his Olympic career with a whopping eight gold medals. That's what we call setting benchmarks, guys. Even today, scientists keep scratching their heads to figure out whether anyone can break his record at all. If that's not historic, we don't know what is. After that, we have Great Britain's win in Athens. This one's a story of four men who made history in Germany with a technicality mixed with some crazy talent and a passion to win. The quartet, including Darren Campbell, Mark Lewis Francis, Jason Gardner, and Marlon Devenish won everyone over with the closest 4x100 relay race in 2004. This was the first after a very long time, in fact, since 1912. That's 92 years if you're counting. So basically, America was in the winning league, but a botched baton handoff took them back in the second leg. What happened next stunned everyone as Lewis Francis reached the tape to score a super close win. In fact, if it wasn't for him breasting the tape first, by one hundredth of a second, the medal would have gone to the USA. But as luck would have it, Britain made it to the end, winning gold after almost a century. Britain was declared winner even though Green's lower leg and head had crossed the line first. So, a dramatic win to a dramatic game? We guess so. Moving on, we have the American team in the Barcelona Games. Team USA was a gold favorite in the 1992 Games when they sent their team of some super-talented NBA players to compete for gold. The team included the 
superstar Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Charles Barkley, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, and Karl Malone. In short, an unbeatable team. And that prediction came true when the players won gold against Croatia, with an average winning margin of 44 points across eight games. We only wish we were there to witness this legendary event taking place because, man, just the names on the roster makes it sound like it was an epic match. Then there's Flojo's race to becoming the fastest woman of all time. History went nuts in Seoul in 1988 when Florence Griffith Joyner, or Flojo, an LA-born track and field athlete, ran the race of her life and won gold in both the 200-meter and 100-meter events. Her record's impeccable, a crazy 10.62 seconds at the game in the 100-meter and then a still-standing one of 21.34 seconds in the 200-meter one. She won gold, even ran for more silver and gold medals in the 4x100 and 4x400 events, and got her name to be part of major sports history books before passing away just a decade later at the age of 38. But we bet her legacy will stay on forever with the crazy record she set. Eighth on our list is Kathy Freeman from Sydney Olympics. This one's truly a moment of magic from the games as Kathy Freeman made history among a crowd of 112,000 people. It was the final of the women's 400 meter race and Kathy was center stage along with Britain's Catherine Mary and Jamaica's Lorraine Graham. In her full body suit and that iconic green and white hood, Kathy made it to the end with a crazy record of 49.11 seconds against Graham's 49.58 and Mary's 49.72. Her win sent the crowd into a frenzy, but Kathy wasn't perturbed. At least that's what spectators said as they watched her crouch on the ground and lower her head without any signs of happiness showing. Turns out she wasn't happy with the time she made, but she soon recovered and gave the country one of its most iconic Olympic moments as she ran a victory lap with both Australian and Aboriginal flags in her hands. There's also Jesse Owens' 1936 win. 1936 was not a good time for Germany. With Hitler in charge, the climate was already political and people were debating whether the games will even continue or not. But they did, and that gave Owens his shot to fame as he performed his very best across the seven days of the event. In fact, he went on to win gold in the 200 meter, 100 meter, long jump, and 4x100 meter relay. And his performance in the 4x100 was so iconic, with a record of 39.8 seconds, that no one could beat it for the next 20 years. At a time when Hitler was using the Berlin games to make a show of Aryan superiority, this win not only challenged the players, but also made a statement in the socio-political world. Lastly, we have Michael Phelps with his historic performance. The Baltimore Bullet, as Phelps has been called, is one of the world's greatest athletes, and his performance in 2008 in Beijing proved that. Before these games, he'd won six gold and two bronze in Athens in 2004, but those weren't enough for him as he went on to break his own record by winning eight gold medals in Beijing. It also broke the 1972 record set by Mark Spitz, who'd won seven gold medals in Munich. And if you think this is it from Phelps, you're wrong, because the guy went on to win nine golds and two silvers in London and Rio in 2012 and 2016, respectively. These made his total go up to 28 medals, and this record still sits atop the Olympic medal leaderboard today. That's a wrap for this video. Which Olympic moment is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you next time, guys. Bye.